is good? What is good? Is is welcome, welcome back. back. I am your host, I am your host Morgan, Morgan Ashley, Ashley, and this is Indie Tuesdays. Indie Tuesdays. To those of you, to who, those are you who are new to the show, to the show <sighs> let me give you a quick give you of what we do here every Tuesday. We come across some new artists, artists, and this is the time when I get to share with y'all about that set artist. For today, I have a vocalist, dancer, singer, songwriter, songwriter, who, who loves, loves to, to share share his music his music R and B R and B I have I have Ivan Ivan what Hello. Nice to meet y'all. <laughs> Thank you for being here on the show. Appreciate you Thanks taking time. Thanks for inviting time. me here. It's a pleasure for nice. me to be here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so I just, let's just dive right into it. Um, I know I've been able to mm. listen to your sound, yeah. but there are those out there who are just hearing you or hearing about you for the first time. How would you? Describe your sound um, at the moment, because I know as artists we change and grow. But at the moment, right now, what, what is your sound mainly? Well, I usually inspired by Chris Brown, so I just like you know, kind of copy his like thing, his voice, his music. Yeah. So R and B, a little yeah. bit of pop, a little bit of dance, but mainly R and B. Mm -hmm. um, I I love that. Uh, there are still R&B artists out there. I know we tend to veer off into different avenues yeah, when yeah. it comes to R&B, <laughs> but there there is some hardcore R&B artists out there, which is really cool. Right. Uh, you dropped a project last year yeah. um, that's called "It Starts Here." Yeah, this is the first album I did last year. Nice. Yeah. Um, can you tell me what were some of the highlights of creating that album? Well, basically most of my songs are based on my experience. So I name it, it starts here because that's the moment like, oh, I need, I gotta do this music career for me. So, you know, so that's the start of my music career. So yeah, definitely. That's a powerful statement, yeah. especially for a album cover. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't even know out there, you are born and raised Philippines and yeah. just moved to LA. Yeah. So that's a big, that's a big start, especially when you're saying it all starts here. You're you're fully committed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. Well, Thank congratulations you. on making that step in your music career. There are a lot of heartbreak songs on your album, but there are still like falling in love songs when yeah. it comes to topics. Mm -hmm. Is that what you experienced throughout your journey from Philippines to here? Yeah, I've been through a lot in my past. So I just like, you know, trying to reminisce sometimes and then try to write it. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm think about it, it's just like, I'm, I get in my feelings, so yeah. That's when, yeah, that's yeah. the best time for you yeah. to write. Exactly. <laughs> um, so just recently, you released a music video from that album called Your Pain. Mm -hmm. Now, when you when it came to writing that song, how long did it take in creating that song altogether from start to finish? I would say it took me like three days. Oh, snap. Yeah, yeah, it took me three days to like finish the whole thing. I listened to the beat, then tried to like, you know, make a flow, then yeah, started writing music. So do you, when you create your music, is it uh, the same formula every time? Or is it you create your music first and then you create the melody and then you go with the lyrics? Or do you start off with lyrics? How does that go about? I start, uh, I start out with beats. I listen to beats and then I make music after that, yeah. And then do you 
feel when the song is done? Do you visualize a music video or do you just tell yourself, maybe this could be a music video idea, I'm not sure, we'll wait and see? Yeah, I do visualize a lot. Yeah, so I want to make it like a story, you know, so it, it seems more real. I'm, I'm loving the fact that you're able to create the music video after just laying down the track. Yeah. Now, I want to know, because I was able to listen to a few tracks on mm. the album. Yeah. Um, I want to know, do you think there will be a music video for The One? Because that one really spoke to me. I know there's no... Because uh, on on albums, they have the little star asterisks yeah. next to like the, yeah. the highlight songs on the album. But uh -huh. to me, the one that spoke the most was The One. So I want to yeah. know, will there be a music video? Definitely in the future. It's just like, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So will there be also future performances? Or is that something that you're working towards as well? Are, can can uh, the people out there expect to see some live performances of your songs? Or yeah. are you working on new are you working on a new project? I'm working on a new project, but I, I actually got a gig this upcoming 20 yet. It's gonna be in Cerritos, Cucina Filipina. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna perform live there. Yeah. Nice. Do you have any other future projects towards the end of this year that you're wanting to get into? Actually, or tell about? making an album right now, but I'm still not done. I'm still working on it. But I got like eight songs in that project. So, yeah, but for this one, it's going to be all Tagalog music. So, oh, all Tagalog songs. So it's gonna you be do have different. one Tagalog song on yeah. the last, on your first album too, which is really dope. So do you find that um, singing in Tagalog is a little bit more... Is it a different vibe versus singing in English all the time? Not really. Not really? It's okay. Same, yeah. Okay, sick. Um, I Before we go on, I do want to take this time and speak of simplicity. We would like to thank one of our sponsors, Leon LA Eyewear. At Leon LA Eyewear, style comes hand in hand with their simple design. From stylish shades to prescription glasses, Leon LA Eyewear has got you covered. So make sure to check their other products. Just visit their Instagram page at Leon LA Eyewear. Going back to my Indie Tuesday Artist of the Day. <laughs> I know that uh, people want to know more about your upcoming gigs, especially for the summer, because summer is coming in real soon. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's summer now, so sorry about that. Are there social medias that you would like people to follow you on for people to continue well, following Well, so your far, journey? I got a Facebook page. Okay. It's called Ivan Sabal. You can just look it up. It's I-V-A-N-S-A-B-A-L. And I got an Instagram, Ivan Sabal. Yeah. Then, if you guys want to see more music videos, you can just follow me on YouTube. That's it. Yeah. Then he, he just dropped his latest music video a few months ago, so make sure to go check that out yeah. as well. You're paying, right? Yes. Okay. One more thing I wanted to say before I forget. Thank you again for being on the show. It's dope that you were able to make such a big step from moving from Philippines to LA and right. continuing with your I had dreams. a hard time to I like catch up. Yeah, so. I, res I respect that, especially <laughs> with nowadays everything prices and it's just crazy. So I commend you on making that step and I look forward to seeing more from your album and projects and performances. So I will definitely be tuning in, but- uh, Thank you, appreciate it. Yes, wishers continue to follow Ivan. Don't forget to cop his project out on all platforms, by the way. It, it starts here and make sure to check out your pain music video that's on youtube right now i will see you next tuesday until then wishers keep on wishing bye